Hello guys, today we are doing uh, Mazda CX-5 2023, it's a beautiful SUV, mid-size SUV, and uh, we're going to be installing some uh, ambient lights right here for this thing, beautiful car, beautiful um, ambient lights we're looking to put, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned. This video is going to be a very uh, detailed and very uh, informative video to show you how we're going to be installing ambient lights. The Flow Series iconic uh, ambient lights from Light Guys GTA that you can also find on our website. So stay tuned. So let's start by uh, removing the door panel here. So this is our first door panel that we're going to be removing. So for that you need something like this uh, tool. It's called the pin tool. That you will need to take this this plastic right here. So you put it there. You just pry it out. Nice and easy and smooth. Okay. So the second one is this rubber carpet right here. So this is very easy. You can put it in any corner so it doesn't damage the trim. Slide it up. And there you go, you see the screw down there. So that's the pretty much the screw that you need. That's it. So that's another screw right there. So you need this screw and this screw right here. That's it. This you can take it off or you don't want. That's fine because as you can see this trim is not touching this plastic so in the premium trim here you will see your corner speaker I come for these cars and then you can just pry this out if you see here you will have a gap to pull it out so you don't need any pry tool you simply put your fingers here pull and then you will hear the click sound go down then you can keep prying it out let me use my other hand as well so make sure your screws are around and you put your hand here and see it all just keep going away like that so yeah, as you can see this will come away with this you don't need to separately take that off and same for this side so once you're here you're gonna lift it up because we got that clip here so never pull it this way just push it up and then pull it out and as you can see the door handle assembly goes away itself then you will see two clips here as you can see these clips so they have a little notch here you press it and pull it down same for this side same for this side you press it and pull it out and your door panel is completely released so here let me show you guys what we did so we are putting three point LED here. The first one is this strip that you can see. Run all across and then goes inside here. Because this part is hidden when the door is closed. So you can only see this part of the door. So that's why we put it all the way here. This is running all the way to the end. Symmetrical. And as you can see that little tiny tiny bulb right there. We had to make a whole incision over there. And then run one wire there on this side as you can see this guy right here so this is the one that we put from behind and put a one hole there from here this is the clean door that you see you don't see any light you don't see anything you don't see any wire on the front of the door this was a little tricky part to take the wire inside as you can see from the back You have to make a little hole over here on this part of the trim. Basically, this is where the light is sitting. So you have to take this wire out from there. So it flushes out. And seamlessly, it runs all across in the end. As you can see, probably right there. I don't know if the camera catches it, but it's going right inside, okay? This part is sticking well in there. You might need a little adhesive. To make it uh, stick in there because it's very very loose in there but this it's very tight and very seemingly here I have a little bit of design difference 
as you can see this trim is higher than this one whereas these are parallel so up till here as you can see the strip is very flushed but here if you can see from the top you will see it's tucked in as you can see this difference in it's only because of the trim whereas here the trim is coming out and it's going inside so that's how it is so now we're going to be doing some wiring on this trim stay tuned so for the wiring this is the controller so these are the controller that come with the trim you got two inlets here these are usually for your uh, handle light and your puddle light the one that we put it right there so the hole that we created it's going from inside there and this is the projector of the light over here the led basically that controls the functionality of the lights so this box it has one inlet two inlet on this side three and four so you can actually mount four lights on it and this is the power control or you can say the the power wire so we put the strip that is coming that is running through the door into one of this you can either put here or here but make sure if you're putting it here you constantly put it here in all four doors otherwise it's not gonna be synced together so if you're putting it here make sure you're putting it in that one all the way so i always put it like that so one space and the other one so i always remind it either i put it in this one or that one so it's always this for me for the power and this one for the door uh, led as you can see so once we put it there then you can plug in the other two the door puddle and the um, door handle light over here so that's what we did as you can see over here on the chip so one and two you can put it either way because this side controls those lights one and two and this side controls the strip and the power cable so this is the power cable that you need to put into any power outlet within the door we'll show you how we're going to be doing that guys this is the rear door that we just did and uh, let me show you in little detail so again the door handle light is here uh this is how we're taking it in for the front led that we put it right there all across the door looks seamless this is how it's going in that's the only part that you can see but once the door is closed you won't be able to see that That's it. The only thing that is different from the front door to the back door is this um, LED right there. So as you can see from here, we placed it right in there. I don't even know if you can see it, but that's where it is. So the difference is this uh, door puddle right here. This is smaller than the front one. So that's the only difference. Everything else is same. Okay, guys. So for dashboard... We're going to be doing this side and that side. So we are only putting strip from here all the way there. And same goes for this side from here all the way here. So guys, I don't know if you can see this is how we put it in. So the power source for that one is the main auxiliary power. Um... That we are connecting it and trying to see if it's working fine. But the main controller is the control box for right side and for this left side. So for both sides, we are running them right across as you can see. That's where we're putting. And uh, this one, this only one wire is controlling both left and the right side. As you can see, it's fitting perfectly fine. Just from the straight, you can tell there is a light in there. Very minimal, not distracting at all while you're driving. We'll see you the final product, stay tuned. So here, this is the door. So we are about to show you how you can uh, give the voltage current to the controller of the doors. So basically you will have to run and get the wire from here so all the cars they have this in common so this is the motor for the window okay so it gets power all the time doesn't matter the power is right here then you switch control right here will control your window so anyways going back to your uh, power source so these wires out here so they're the usually power ones so the the thicker ones are either negative or positive 
as you can see here, either negative or positive or, pos or negative or positive, okay? So all the time get the power source from here because it's the most reliable one and it always gonna work with your car. So the moment you turn on your switch, everything comes on. The moment you turn off your switch, everything goes off. So this is the best reliable source you can ever find in any car for the power to the doors for the lights. So guys, we give it a power source right here and it's continuous power. So here's the thing for these lights. Doesn't matter if you have a all time running power as long as the main controller is not on, none of these doors gonna work. So make sure your main controller is on all the time and uh, that's when we're gonna be giving it the main controller power from the power button right there from the ignition button so depending on if your uh, main controller is on or not these doors not gonna work or are gonna work so right now i gave it a power so that's why that door that door right there that one and this one right here are working perfectly fine so as you can see these doors are getting the power from there and the, the continuous power that runs in the doors for the lock switch for your uh, um, door locks your windows all the power comes from this uh, control button right here so always give it a power from there instead of that my bad i said we could get it from there but it was this this uh, controller switch right here that controls your window up and down